Welcome back friends. In today's lecture, we will learn about data transformation in Tableau. Now let's assume you have been asked by your boss to produce a table similar to what I have on the screen. Basically, you have been asked to show sales by year and by sales manager. And you are required to use the Superstore dataset to produce this analysis. So let's jump to Tableau and try to do this. Okay, so I'm here back in Tableau on a blank sheet and I have the Superstore dataset. Let's go ahead and try to create a text table that was requested by the management. I will drag the order date to columns and sales to the text card. Now, as the next step, I need to add the sales manager's name. But upon inspecting the data, I can see that there is no field for sales manager. There is a field for region name, but that isn't what we are looking for. To investigate further, let's go and inspect the Excel file of the Superstore dataset. Here, upon inspecting the order sheet, I do not find any field for sales manager name. Now let's have a look at people sheet. Here I can see that there is a column for region name and next to it we have the names of sales managers responsible for that region. And this leads us to discuss a truth about life as a data analyst. When working as data analyst or visualization expert, most of the times the data that you will get will be in a messy or scattered format. And it will be your job to not only produce visualizations from this data, but also clean and combine the data in a way that it's ready for visualization. In the past few examples, we built a number of charts and it was all easy as the data was in a clean format. But in real life, this is rarely going to happen. Most of the times the data will be in a bad form. You will need to shape it before it can go on in a Tableau worksheet for visualization. This is exactly what we will be learning in this lecture. We will learn how to use joins and unions to combine data that is scattered in different files. We will learn about how to convert white tables into long tables using pivoting options and many more. So let's start with joins and unions first. Assume you have two tables, one containing the information for the year 2019, the table on the top, and the other one is containing the information for 2020. That is the second table here. To create meaningful visualizations, you must combine this data into one table. This can be achieved by doing the union of these two datasets. Union will basically append one table to the other. A key watch out here is ensuring that both datasets have the same column names. If column names are not identical, Tableau will create two columns in the resultant output. Another common situation you might encounter is this one, where some information is in a separate table. In this example, table on the left has the product number, but not the product name. The table on the right has both the product number and the product name. And we would like to have both the product name and product number in the first table itself. This is similar to the situation we saw in the example earlier where we needed a Superstore sales summary by sales manager. To solve this problem, we can do something called join. A join will pick up the missing information from the second table and include it in the first one. A key watch out here is to ensure that at least one column in both the tables has identical values. Otherwise, Tableau will not know how to match up or combine the two tables. If you have used VLOOKUP in Excel, then the concept of join is very similar. The lookup values must be identical or else the function will not work. Now let's try to practice these concepts. Let's open a new Tableau public workbook. For this exercise, I have set up some sample datasets. Let's have a look at that first. Let's have a look at the first file. The structure of the file is pretty simple. The first column has the names of the products. The second column has the year. After that, we have 12 columns for each month. Inside those columns, we have sales numbers. The second file has the same structure. The only difference is the year. 
This fall shows the sales for the year 2022, whereas the first one had 2021. And then we have the third fall, which is the mapping fall. It has two columns, one for the names of the products, and the second one defines the type of the product. Now I'll go to my new instance of Tableau Public and connect to the data. Go to Microsoft Excel and first I'll select to the sales 2021 file. Once we connect, it will first show us the 2021 data. Now, as you might have already guessed, we will need the 2022 data here in the same table. To do that, we will need to union the 2022 file with this data set. First of all, I will double click on the new union button on the left. It will give us the union window. From here, we have two options. One is to manually union the two tables. This means I will connect to the 2022 file just like I did for 2021 and then drag the two tables into this window. Another option is to do something called the wildcard union. With the wildcard union, I can tell Tableau to combine all the files in the specified folder provided they meet certain criteria. So in this case, I can specify the criteria to be all the files where the name starts with sales. This approach is helpful, especially in the case where we are expecting more data to come in at a later date. For example, if I'm expecting 2023 file to come in at a later date, I will not need to manually tweak my union settings if I use the wildcard approach. Tableau will automatically take care of it. Next, I will click on OK. And now, as you can see, our data has both 2022 and 2021. Note that Tableau has added two extra columns to the right to show where the data is coming from. If needed, we can get rid of these columns by right-clicking on the column header and then selecting the Hide option. For now, I'll keep these columns there. Next, let's have a look at an example of Join. In this table, we have the product's name. However, for analysis, we might need the product type as well. To solve this, I can bring the mapping file into Tableau, then join that file with this table based on the product name. I will click on Add and connect to the mapping file. Now, in the mapping file, we have sheet 1. There's only one sheet. I will drag it to the canvas and bring it right in front of Union. Once I do that, Tableau is going to understand that I'm trying to join these two tables. And it's going to ask me the name of the field based on which I want the join to happen. So from the Union table, I want the product field or the product name field. And from the mapping table, I also want Tableau to pick up the product name field to operate the join. Once it is done, I will go to the sheet one. Here, I can now see that I have both the dimensions that is product name as well as the product type. And I can use them both in my visuals. Now let's try to do some more data shaping. Here in this data, I can already see that there's something off. We have values for banana and bananas. Then we have values for peach and peaches. It will make sense to group these product names into one so that our data becomes more comprehensive. So let's go to data source. And the source of these product names was from the union table. We've dragged the product names from this one. So it was inside the union table. And therefore, we will go inside the union table and try to fix something over there. To fix this, I will right click on the product name column, then click on create group. Here, I can group the banana and bananas into one group and name that group as banana. I will repeat the same step for peach and peaches, mango and mangoes, and all other instances where there is a repetition. Now, when I go back to sheet one, I will see a new field named product group. If I drag this field into my visual, it will give a much cleaner view of my data. Let's have a look at some other data shaping options available. 
We can rename the fields if we like to. We can create a copy. If you want to hide a field, you can do that as well. For example, the two columns which Tableau created when we did the union, I don't think we will be needing them. So I can go and hide them. Next, we have the aliases. With this option, I can assign an alias to any value within the field. For example, if instead of apples, I want to show app or any other acronym of my choice, I can do that using the alias. Next, we have calculated fields, which we will cover in the next section. We already looked at the groups. Last, we have the option to split. If you want to split a column or a field based on some delimiter, you can do that using this option. Next, we will learn about pivoting the columns to rows. But before that, let's briefly talk about concept of wide versus long tables. Have a look at this table. Coming from the world of Microsoft Excel, this is how we are used to seeing our reports. Although this structure of data looks visually pleasing, it's not the best structure if you want to use your data for visualization in Tableau. This is because it's difficult to create calculated fields or sometimes even apply filters with this type of data architecture in Tableau. For simplicity, I call this structure the wide tables as the tables are spread out wide. Now the same data can be rearranged in a format which I like to call the long tables. Let's have a look at second table. I can guarantee you that this table has exactly the same information as the previous one. It's just arranged in the long orientation rather than wide. This type of orientation works best for Tableau or for this argument, perhaps any data visualization software. Therefore, as a best practice, develop a habit of structuring your data in the long orientation. Now, how can you identify if your data structure has room for improvement? As a rule of thumb, if your data has multiple columns that contain same type and nature of information, then this means you have a wide table and you can convert it into a long one. For example, here we have 12 columns for each month. Inside each column, we have number for sales. It's the same type and nature of data. All of these numbers are sales numbers. Therefore, rather than having 12 columns each showing the sales number, we can have only one column that shows the sales number and an another column that shows the names of the months. You can achieve this in Tableau by using the pivoting feature. Let's have a look at how it's done. I'm back in Tableau Public with the same data that we were working on before we left for discussion on wide versus long tables. Here I can see we have 12 columns for each month and each column has numbers for sales. Therefore, we can improve the structure of this data. To do this, I will select all the columns that I want to pivot, click on the drop down in any of the columns and select pivot. As a result, I will get two columns, one with the header pivot field names and the second one containing pivot field values. I can rename the pivot field names to month and pivot field values to sales. Now, our data is ready for us to use in visualization. Now let's try to solve the problem which we saw at the start of this lecture, where we were asked to produce sales by regional manager using the Superstore dataset. We already know that there is no field on the order sheet for regional manager, but on the people sheet, we saw that there is a mapping between regional name and regional manager. So we will join these two sheets. Tableau will automatically detect that region name is the common field between these two datasets. Now, when we go to our worksheet, 
I will see the field for Regional Manager. And once I drag that to the row shelf, I will see the sales broken down by Manager. Now, before we finish this lecture, I would like to cover a couple of important points. Tableau Desktop is not a data shaping or data cleaning software. It's primarily a data visualization software which has some features for data shaping. Therefore, if you're dealing with very large data or if your data needs some intense cleaning, then you might want to use a special data transformation or data cleaning software. An example will be Tableau Prep. If you have very complicated data and you use Tableau Desktop for data cleaning, then that might lead to performance issues. At least that has happened with me. And on top of that, not all the data cleaning features are available in Tableau Desktop. For example, unpivoting the columns or transposing the data is very difficult in Tableau Desktop. Therefore, as a principle, if you have data with low to medium complexity, then you can use Tableau Desktop. Otherwise, go for a specialized software. With that, we complete our lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.